So again, prevention, prenatal care, of course, nutrition, abstinence, common sense, genetic counseling. So this is a problem with genetic counseling is um, sometimes, like you said, you had to sign a waiver, not you, but uh, you know, to have an, an abortion if your child was born um, with, a, with a, or you take an Accutane. These are the kinds of things that you would have um, counseling for if you suspected something wrong with your child, like Down syndrome or some other kind of major disorder, and you wanted to decide whether to terminate the pregnancy, then you'd have to have genetic counseling. So some of the things that are, are again, screening are ultrasound. Ultrasound uses sound waves, and basically just to monitor the development. It doesn't really do any good for genetic disorders. It's more about the position of the child, if you're having twins, abnormal heart, structural types of things, position of the fetus, right? Um, amniocentesis, it's a good job I mentioned this stuff before, right? I kind of got it out there. Amniocentesis, again, is the um, taking the amniotic, amniotic fluid out of the, out of the, uh, out of the mother's um, stomach, but you can't have it done before 12 weeks. Now, if you are suspected of having a child with Down syndrome, you're kind of anxious. You want to know before that, right? So you can't have it done before 12 weeks, and it takes up to two weeks to get the results. So you don't want to wait that long, and you don't want to have the two-week waiting period. You're stressed out enough. So chorionic villus sampling is an alternative method where they would take, the again, that chorionic villi, that little vessels I showed you in the, in the, um, in the child's um, placenta, and take a plug of that. You can do it earlier, around nine weeks, eight to nine weeks, and you have the results back within 24 hours. So a much quicker form. Both of these carry high risk for um, miscarriage, but the consequences or the risks far outweigh the results. So most people do have these tests done and non-eventful for the most part, right? It's usually pretty, pretty good nowadays. Test tube screaming, screaming, <laughs> test tube screaming. Test tube screening is another way where they can actually take the DNA from the cells. So you have a, a, a cell in a, in, a, in a Petri dish. When it reaches about eight to 10 cells after it has divided, you can actually test, do a karyotype or a DNA analysis on that, um, on that child and decide whether it, you know, it has any, or determine whether it has any genetic defects or not. Chloe, the little girl, the test tube um, girl, she actually, um, her parents were carriers of cystic fibrosis, and they wanted to make sure that she did not have it. So they actually tested the, um, uh, the embryo before they implanted it into her mother and determined that it was free of this disease. So in any event, uh, this can be done as well. Treatment for any kind of disorders can be done through vitamins, drugs for AIDS, right? And again, folic acid to prevent spina bifida and any other kind of vitamin enhancers while you're pregnant, iron, that, all that kind of good stuff. Surgery, and I'd mentioned before, we now have a, what they call an endoscope, and an endoscope is a way to actually go into the uterus and perform surgery on a developing embryo. And what they can do is they can fix things like urinary um, uh, obstructions or spina bifida, or if they have a herniation of the diaphragm where the lungs are not uh, developing properly or there's a herniation there, they can fix that. Not everything can be fixed, but there is fetal surgery, which is becoming more on the horizon, which just blows my mind they could even do this. Last one here is unbelievable, genetic engineering. If they suspect a child has a lack of a gene, let's say involved in immune function, they can actually take the blood sample snip out the affected gene, cut it out, put in a synthetic gene, take germs, ones that aren't harmful, of course, and the germs will allow that new gene to migrate into the nucleus of the cell and then implant that gene back into the developing fetus. And they will now develop the, a proper immune system or that particular enzyme that they were lacking. This is unbelievable, right? Now, they only do this with um, autosomes. They don't do it with gametes. So they're not into that changing sex yet or any of that stuff yet, right? So genetic engineering is another way to rectify some of these um, problems. There was another incident where a, a baby had a problem with immune function, and they actually took immune cells out of a, an aborted fetus and injected them into the umbilical cord, and the child was okay when they were born. So all kinds of stuff.